Welcome to Factorio Base in the Book. My name is Neil Aust and this is episode 7 of our Let's Play. So what we're going to do today? Well, uh, first of all, look in the lower left-hand corner, I guess. Uh, yeah, so uh, every episode uh, has a dedicated uh, Patreon sponsor. So I don't sponsor my videos. I don't have these uh, segments about uh, Square VPN or whatever. But um, I, instead, I have the... Patrons who are supporting me and the work I do here, so I don't have to do these uh, these activations for brands that I don't really can vouch for. Anyway, so that is uh, why notice the names, thank them if you see them in chat or whatever, because they are the ones who keep this whole thing running. So uh, I'm uh, adding the ones that are my highest tier patrons, the Templars and the Masters of the Path. And if you're familiar with the community, then you will also know that know a lot of these names already. So th big thanks to the Patreon supporters who are supporting. And uh, yes, of course, there's a link to that. So let's uh, dive in. I just wanted to mention that so it was clear that uh, that's, uh, that's a really big part of, of, of this uh, whole thing. Yeah. Um, what we're going to do today is uh, something that I'm, I'm sure someone will, un will, will disagree with my term. But I think oil is how you unlock the mid game. That's where you hit the first real boundary on... On sort of complexity, first it's just iron, copper, yeah, it's fine. But then when you have to deal with the oil, then it gets a bit more complicated. But again, when you have oil, you basically have everything available and it's just piecing them together in different ways. We have enough uh, iron, steel, copper, kind of. We don't have a lot, but we will make do with what we have until we get to the next tier. And that is uh, when we get the robots. So right now we're working towards robots. And in order to get robots, we need to bl get blue science. In order to get blue science, we need red circuits. In order to get red circuits, we need plastic. In order to get plastic, we need oil. Done. That's what we need. So we will bring oil in here and then drag it over and build it up on the bus. So that if you drag oil over the bus, it'll go in here for refinement. It'll go here for sulfur and up here for plastic. That is the objective of today. So the first thing we want to do is grab the stuff we need in order for us to go out. I think we'll also need a few more charts. And I have 200 of these. That's probably enough. Let's see. We are going to get some of these. And I think it's 24. So where we get the oil from. I could get the one here. But I don't want to. There used to also be one over here that I've deleted. We're going to get this one, which is far down there. So I need to clear out this path. To get it, that is 23, and give me one more, then I am happy. That should be 24, and I think 24 is the magic number that I need. I'm going to get a lot of these, and a lot of this, and a lot of that, and even more of this, and I can't even get all of that in my inventory, so let's try again. Did we have this? Did we have this here? And we are also going to get... I guess we're not really going to get that. Ugh. Yeah, I have too much crap in my inventory by now. All right, I'm going to get this one. Ah, man. Oh, these, I don't need those. Those are bad design from last time. There, we just freed up a bit of space. And I am going to take there. There, that's eight because we want two of those. And do I have wagons? Nope, I'm going to get two there. So that should be enough. I can always just get a bit more when I need it. Do I need some ammo? Uh, yeah, I absolutely need ammo. That's actually a big issue we have here. That I do have so much useless stuff here. That one goes in here. That one goes in here. Here. I don't really want to carry around this part. And, ooh. Well, that's a problem. We do not have a lot of ammo. Well, we do have a lot of ammo. It's just not really around here. Let's have a look at how far it is actually stacking up. Okay, so it's actually, it is stacking up pretty uh, pretty well. Okay, all the way over there. So we are going to get some of this and then we are going to head out. But this is the part of the thing. This is the thing, right? I mean, clearing this part out and building the path here. Uh, that is our mate. Oh, right. I should mention something about this one. I heard someone go like, ah, oh, you don't even know to use the blueprints here. Yes, I do. But I need to restructure this continuously because I have like now some generic blueprints, which like solar power, city blocks, those are, make sense to have as uh, dedicated ones, perimeter defense. I, I have some now, some train segments that you can now get here because they're also not linked. But these ones here, 
we'll have all of the items that we uh, all of the city blocks needed but i'm going to take them from my master class but at the end i'm going to put it into these ones so you have them and i put quite a lot of effort into this so uh, i hope that it's it's appreciated let's uh, actually try this to see let's try this one oh this one is not actually oh right i think that's actually a uh, correct not to do this Yeah, these are not grid locked. And I will get. Let me just check. Did not lose it, did I? No, I didn't. Here, no. This one. That one, and that one, and that one, and that one, that one, and that one. So that's what we're going to get outbound. And yeah, we're going to go get some ammo. I'm going to get that out. I am going to come back and then we'll have, uh, have everything uh, will be ready to work down here. Because, well, clearing pilot is not so... It takes a long time and I would rather want to build oil in this episode. So we have made it all the way down here. And this is where we have the oil. We've made it this path. It's kind of protected. We've cleared out the biters. It's good to go. Now we want to build something and I am going to go in here for my uh, build. I know I have train stations and I'm going to take this. This is a, an unloading station. So it should be a loading station nearby. That one, I'm not going to get in trouble with this. So this loading station will be a balanced loading station. And please tell me I forgot. I remember this. Yes, I did. Good. Uh, this loading station, yeah, as I said, it's going to be a balanced one. That means it'll try to balance the inputs in each different box, depending on the, on this flow here. And I don't think I like this one anymore. It's kind of a thing I did at uh, some point, but I don't think I want that anymore. That one goes in here, and absolutely there always has to be one right after it, so that when the train leaves, the next one can start going in. Here, yeah, that one, or that one. That one, that one, and that one. It do does look sort of unsymmetric, but it actually uh, it actually works. So the idea of this, you can find this in my masterclass on train stations, and which is a pretty good one. I think it's at least a popular. <laughs> uh, the one, the thing it does, and I'm just gonna check that these have the right conditions. Yes, it basically says it goes in here, and then the pump that has the least in the next one will be active, and the same here. This pump will be active if there's less in this one than that one. So it's basically just comparing two and then pumping it if there's less. So trying to balance balance things out. I am definitely going to have to get a location with all of my liquid things so that we can build those more easily. Like that, that's probably gonna be it. Here, we're gonna go all the way down here and yeah, that's gonna be a lot of a lot of throughput on this. Good. All right, let's get the, the all this. I am going to do something along this line where I'm going to bring it into the middle-ish here. There is just no way of doing this without a mod. There's a mod called Outrotorio, which is super cool, at least from a mathematical perspective. Uh, it is, uh, the, the what it does is just trying to sort of make the I don't know if it's optimal it's, or it's heuristic based, but oh, oh, I thought I had enough. I thought 24 was the magic number, but it was not. So we just take the ones that are furthest away. There is no way we need all of this. And that all tutorial is pretty cool because it, is that everything? I think it is, it doesn't matter. Uh, it uh, makes a pattern, a blueprint, automatically that you can then use. So what I'm going to do here is much more simple. Actually, I don't like this one. I'd rather have it here. Oh, yes. And so it's... We just get things into this line. And I don't really care that it can't keep up with all of uh, all the throughput because it, it doesn't really matter at this point. I uh, just want all of these to kind of some, sometimes work and make sure that they all get consumed. So, yeah. I think that when it comes to hooking up oil, 
most of the time it all it's all about just making the least awful setup and much less about making the optimal setup because it just doesn't matter go this one and i'm almost certainly forgetting something but that's just the way it is that one is so far this is the only one that has to be uh, changed that's pretty uh, remarkable and what about up here okay we got a few more up here isn't this good no it's exactly the same that's why and the next one i mean the last one here and then i will definitely get a pump there to try to help it along all right so now power <clears throat> as you can see the effort put into this is minuscule at best let's go this way that one here here Not working. Yeah. Yay. More more stuff is hooked up. Now everything is done. Yes, it is. And I don't have any more any more um what are it called? Ammo turrets. So let's hope we don't get any more attacks in. Uh we're probably gonna get attacked by that one. I can't really bother with that right now. Sorry, I'm just going to have to assume that we're good to go. So, chop some trees. Why do we chop some trees? Because otherwise we can't fuel our train. It's so pathetic that I'm uh, fueling my train with chopped down trees. Let's do that. Lumberjack simulator just because. There. Uh, when it comes to fueling my trains, then yes, it is pretty disgusting that I have to do it this way. On the other hand, I don't bother setting something up when I know that I have oil relatively close. So this one will be now have another location. It will be called, yeah, let's try to use the same idea for this. There, no cap on this and it should be full, right? No, it's not full. It's not 100% even, but if we look at it, the fact that they are flickering means that it's it's balancing out evenly. This one is pumping in. I wonder if it's pumping in as fast as it can. Oops. Oh, oh no. There. Until full. Is this... No, they, they're actually... It is consuming everything that there is. Hmm, interesting. And once it's full, what are we at? We're almost there, right? This is 22, but the middle ones are less. That's just the way it is. I mean, managing liquids in Factorio is just impossible. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this one, and it doesn't really matter if it's full, but we're going to take it back to uh, this location, I think. Let's do that right now. I'm at least on the train, and what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to take... Um, pretty much this th this thing here. Yep. And I'm just going to put it in there. And then we can start removing the stuff that isn't doesn't make any sense. Like this. Like all of this. Alright, you're here. And then we can start building this one. We're just going to build the single line so that it can go into the station and then we'll we'll take it from there. Uh, there are actually trains on this path, so I should be at least somewhat careful. There. And this one will then be... It'll then be oil inbound and oil will come in there. Let's 
Let's get these up. There. That looks good. I am going to definitely get the this part, this part, and... Again, we have the option of powering, of getting something into the train, which I don't have yet. Uh, no, not yet. This one, you're not gonna go here. Oh, hold on, hold on. You are going to go to this one until empty. Go. Can you even get there? Oh yeah, you can just barely t go around. Let's uh, build these. Dur -dur -dur -dur. Just building the first one. Just building the inner one. And then with the next part we want to do is uh, we want to make an unloader and we'll take a look at what the unloader is going to look like as soon as these uh, tracks are built. There. Okay, let's do the unloader, and that's also from my same masterclass that we are going to use it. And funny enough, it actually does have a bit of an issue with it. The fact that the train is misplaced in the blueprint. There, here, 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 and here. Wonder if that's enough. Oh, look at that water. I knew that something was iffy we're here. Shouldn't this actually just be anything? Yeah. Let's see if it unloads. Boom, unloads quickly. All right, so this is uh, now done and we have one here. <laughs> we don't have any fuel. Ah, it's gonna run out very, very soon. That's just gonna be what it is. So what I'm gonna do now is I am going to take this. Is that actually right? Yeah. Like this and here. And then I'm going to bring it in. I'm going to take it with my, this design up here. I'm gonna take these because they are relevant to us all the way down here because that gives us an indication of where we want to be with that one also it gives us another thing it gives us a indication of where we're supposed to be jumping here i do this because i think it's the right thing to do and there right yes those two are good that one, remove this. Oh, right, never mind. Now I cheated myself, that was not what I wanted to see. That's, there, that's what I wanted. And then it gets a bit different on this side because at this point I am going to insist on having this. That means I will have one, here and here and that will guarantee that there's always going to be like this so if you see now that we we follow this one up you'll see that it fits absolutely perfectly with a full tile or a full city block there see absolutely perfect jumping in copying the one from down here And that means we can guarantee that the pressure keeps up as we move up here. We're gonna make more, it's gonna go all the way up and then we'll be ready at this point. But what I also want to do in preparation for this is get some water in uh, because we are going to need some water. So let me just get some water over from this side as well. Might as well get that done. And now into the next part. And that is uh, now that we have oil up here on the belt and we have, water coming in here two lanes coming in one for the oil refinement later on and one for sulfuric acid right now so what we need to do is we need to get a lot of this and a lot of this well not really a lot but some and let's see do we have enough we do not have enough pumps because we never know 
And we should have enough of everything else. Yep. And I'll take a few of these because you never know. And I think we might also need some red undergrounds, but I think we have that already. Yeah, we have a few red undergrounds, 40 under red undergrounds, so it should be enough. Okay, so now what I've done here, I've taken this one out. The reason why I'm taking it out is actually because I need this space. Um, that's a bit of a mistake, but it is what it is. So let's uh, let's take a look at our blueprint. This is where we get to the oil refining blueprint. So what is really important is I need to make sure that there's room for this one. Because this is the one that actually uh, is the final form. I'm going to put it here because by the time I need to build the whole damn thing, I just damn well better get rid of all that crap, uh, that line of uh, of iron out there. I think that would be, I think that's that'll have to do. So I do this here is where I want it. And then you can see up here in the corners, there's a little indicator here, hazard concrete, hazard concrete. That is just to indicate how much I'm not allowed to to use of this area. Now I'm keeping the hazard concrete in these corners. I'm going to go back in here. And then I'm going to take the most simple one. This is the most simple one. Boop. And I'm actually going to double it because, well, even though it's simple, I think I want to double it anyway. Here. So that's the one we uh, want to build to start with. This is going to be our starting design for oil. Let's get that up and running. Once that's up and running, then we can we can actually just start making the first basic petroleum here. There, that's it. And yay, we're getting started. And this is 10, and it's exactly 10 we picked up because, well, of course we did. There we go. And the lights, most important. I have a little uh, combinator for all of these designs. If you're not, if you're not been following my master classes, well, in that case, maybe. I'd recommend doing that if um, if you want sort of get the in and out of how this very very advanced blueprint is actually working then but you have this one here which says i'm getting 100 in and getting 45 out now we doubled it so it's 200 in 50, uh, 90 out oh wow we ran out of that uh can i make a few of those well i can just grab some steel out here that should be fine there look at these belts they're so nice there Come on, there, and here. Now, isn't this exactly, exactly, exactly correct? Great. Yeah. <clears throat> so that goes outbound. You might think that there, this could be optimized, but if you change any, if you use decide to use these blueprints, do not change anything. Uh, if you do, then it won't work as you upgrade it. And that's kind of the strength of this is how well it works when you upgrade it. Ah, close. Let's get this one updated. And after this one... This is then when we where we want to get all of the oil inbound, and you know I'm going to do it this way as well. Really? There. Okay, we'll we'll do it this way. Oil, oil. Nope. Hmm. And it goes over here. Come on, here and here, and oil is now coming in. Lovely. That actually, hey, isn't that, is that working? No, it's not working, but it's very, very close to working. It's very close to getting our first petroleum, but petroleum hasn't really got any value on its own. It's only as an ingredient to sulfur, sulfuric acid, and to plastic that we want to use it. So this is done. We have the first oil. Let us see if it's uh, coming in. We want to see something in this box here. Yeah, come on. Come on. Hmm. How, how am I? Oh, ha. There was a problem. There we go. Okay, well, that's why we have it. Here. 
just sliding in these belts not cool and then it gets a bit more tricky we are going to get uh let's see do we not have this here that one And that goes like this. And then I have this rule that it has to follow uh, this design here. There you go. And this will now go up, 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 up. And be ready to go into this one where I'll push it further up. But I don't think I need to go further up any more or at this point. Because the next thing we want to do, uh, let me just take this one. We have now emptied this, this is good. I can take all of this out because we are gonna need the space here for making sulfuric acid, I guess. Go, 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 go. So we made uh, sulfur and sulfuric acid. We have a design for this, this is again from my master classes, I would recommend taking a look at those if you are interested in sort of more in depth and how these are designed. We want to get that up as well. There, so that's sulfur here and plastic up here. So let's get the plastic first. And that's this one, chemicals. So I have several different tiers. You can see this one, like this is the basic and then it gets more advanced and it gets more advanced again with beacons, modules, that kind of thing. Mm. Uh, first things first though, I think I want to make sure that I have this one done. Mm, how much do I want it? Just trying to figure out how. Uh, I don't think I want it this close. I want it just a bit more. Let's see. One, two. So if I build it like this. Whoops. I'm just trying. I'm. I'm just. Uh, I don't. I don't want to rebuild it, but I might have to. Here and then I get the sulfur again. This one. And again, I could get it like this. I want to get it three away because then when I get a robot port, that will be. One, two, three, four wide, then that's good. Yeah, that's, we'll do it this way. Now, the reason why I build it with four lanes is because the two lanes go into plastic and the other two lanes go into the bus. And that's the bus part we now need to fix. Okay, please don't. Not so many misclicks, please. And this one. It's trying to make sense of all this. Remove the old trash so we have a nice clean bus without any trash on it. There we go. Let's see, can I remember it? I think I did take a copy. Yeah, I did take a copy. There we go. That one, that one, upwards, downwards. Good, that's done. That works. Uh, this one obviously is not going to look like this. Uh, also, I don't really like the fact that it's so far up, but I do like the, the pacing of it. This one is going to be the iron coming in for the sulfuric acid. So once I have that, I don't need this anymore. I can get the other thing. I can get this here. How far do I want it inbound? I mean, why not just there? And let's go to the batteries. So the batteries, what if I build it all the way up and then there? Let's just look at it. One, two, 
Okay, so it has to be sort of in the middle. This is like the late game build for plastic. And that will give us four blue lanes of plastic outbound. That's pretty nice. And I like it like this. Yeah. Which means I need to just pretend that it's... This is the output of one. This is the output of the other. Then I don't need anything else. Because then I can take plastic. I can go with a simple plastic. That is the simple plastic. And I know that the outbound will be here. And then let's talk about that location maybe. And that location. There. That is looking phenomenal. Primarily because I think it actually works and it's pretty simple to set up. We're going to build the plastic. I am going to get this out as plastic. The reason why I have all of these ups and downs is because I'm going to put in beacons afterwards. I don't know if it's really worth at this point just uh, preparing things for beacons to this extent. You can just draw a straight line through. There's, uh, It's just slightly easier if you uh, do it the other way. Now this one will then be coming from here. And that one. Oh, that's going to be annoying. There. That was much easier. That's going to be one of the coal belts and this one's going to be the other coal belt. So I'm just going to drag it straight through for now. That one's outbound. Starting from here. So that's done. I need these two. All of this is meticulously calculated for to make sure that they balance evenly on either side of the belt. And, oops, here we again have something that's a bit too complicated for its own good. That one. Here. And this... Is the petroleum coming in i'm gonna get another one of these here here those are inbound 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 of the coal coming on the top belt and then i'm going to output these two on the inside belt and i'll put the other ones on the outside belt there i put more on this to make it sure that it gets saturated let's build the other one here here All right, so once this is built, we can, okay, let's get the inbound on the coal. We get the coal build up, we get the petroleum in, and then it basically just works, doesn't it? This one, that one, that one, these two, these two. Okay, so that's done. I get the coal build out here, I get the coal build out here, I get the coal build out here, and then I have to figure out where Come to come to here and there. That's good and that's good. So all we need now is the petroleum coming into these belts and then we'll build the little sulfur. The sulfur is less important because plastic is the real money maker here. And where did I agree that I wanted it? I wanted it here, right? That's <clears throat> that's where we want it. That one. That's going to be plastic. And this will be the other plastic. Sweet. And I'm going to balance it on the bus. Uh, let me see. Can I... What if I do... Yeah. 
Okay, so I can make it into a four by four balancer by balancing it here. That is great, which I something I need. This is done. Okay, now the next part is just the oil part. Nope, this one is slightly different for this. Uh, nope, it's that one and here. Plastic. Got the first plastic. I should be seeing it coming out very soon. Actually, right now. Is that okay? Yep. And here. Why is there no plastic yet? Hmm. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. There's plastic. Woohoo! Sweet. We have plastic. Next one. <laughs> Next one is. The sulfur, we just want the sulfur and the plastic because that means next time we can start making red circuits and we can make blue signs. Look at me knowing the colors and stuff. That's pretty imp impressive for me. Oops. There. And this is going to be the water, which is the stuff we have collected from the other side. I'm going to get a one, two further out. I think it's actually out there just to make sure. That's fine. Not a problem. Going straight in. We have one of the ingredients. Now let's get the other things. That one, that one, that one. There are so many weird things we have to get here. This one is, it's pretty good, but it does have one issue. And that issue is the fact that it will consume all of the sulfur before it puts anything out on the belt, on the bus. And that's kind of not, go, not good. Inserters. There. That's all the inserters we need. This one isn't actually needed. Here, oops, here, here. Let's get all the inserters and then finish up with all the pipes. And the pipes here are a bit complicated. Because they go they go like this. Oops. Just an attempt at making things I don't know. A bit unique. It certainly works. Here, 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 here. We'll just check if everything is working afterwards when the whole thing is hooked up. There. Okay, so that's working. And I'm also going to take one here just in case. I actually didn't take one out. And yeah, I think they're working. And all I need now is inbound here. That one. This is going to be the, again, the petroleum. Oh, I ran out. Uh, is that going to be enough? Yeah, it might be enough. Eight of those. Yeah. And there. It's enough. It goes in. Sulfur goes out. I can also just take more of this and then just handcraft my way to victory. And this one will then go like that. And the sulfur is going to also get a location. It gets the location next to next to the oil for unknown reasons. Let's get this one. Didn't we have there? If this is oil, then the last one over is going to be That one is going to be sulfur. Really nice getting that one up. Sulfur ready. And then the only thing we're missing is the sulfuric acid, which will also be coming out on a pipe as well. I can just do this one. 
then at least I know exactly where they're gonna be placed here. And then again, I need to figure out where uh, where's my sulfur gas is going to be. It's sulfur gas is going to be right next to. That. Okay, there, there, and. And it's actually already full. Uh, so this is a problem. So we have to do this one. Look at that. That is all the stuff we wanted. We got plastic. We got sulfuric acid. We got uh, petroleum. And we got sulfur. Wow. I think the one thing I need for this one is actually do a balancer. Because they are going to be woefully imbalanced. They're coming out of there. There we go. All right, so we managed to get all these things. It took a bit longer time than expected, but I think that's a massive, massive step forward. And now we can go into red circuits, blue signs, robots, and take it from there. So thank you everyone for watching. I hope you uh, enjoyed it, even though it was a bit longer than I'd like these episodes to be. Then um, I think we got covered a lot of ground and now it's uh, onwards to the blue science and then robots and then everything gets easier. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. Until then, take care, and as always, stay effective.